What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Pop Culture Gamers podcast video and today we've got yet another unboxing and here it is, it's a action cam and it's an Instra 360 variety. So let's have a look at this. Uh, this package uh, came from Amazon and it is basically the Instra 360 ONE RS 4K uh, starter kit. So this camera is waterproof. It does 4K 60fps action cam with flow state stabilisation. Has a massive 48 megapixel photo ability, active HDR and there's even AI editing. But this one is a bit different because it's modular. So first off, it comes with a memory card. Useful, it's only 64 gig, but nevertheless, it's a start. We have lots of bubble wrap. There is a selfie stick. There are two different versions of this selfie stick or this type of selfie stick, and it is an invisible selfie stick, so it does actually get removed uh, from everything that you do later on in the post-production, because this does come with uh, really good software, evidently. So this selfie stick is 120 centimetres in length, but you can buy a different selfie stick, which is available for an eye-watering amount of £100 that is three metres high. And the reason why you might want to do that is because you can get some quite effective drone type effects. There are also other sticks and various different gadgets that you can get for this, various different mounts, but there's also one for doing bullet time effects as well, which is really interesting. And here, is the camera itself. Now this does look really quite odd. If you've got a action camera like a GoPro, um, then this is not going to be that odd to you. But if you've not used an action camera before, then this is going to be very odd. There is a 360 degree camera to go on to this. I'm just waiting for that one to be delivered. So I'm looking forward to that. And I will be reviewing that later on. But I just thought I'd just show you an unboxing of uh, this and then come back after a week or two when I can say how good this camera actually is. This camera is quite special in terms of the action cams because it's modular. This is three different bits and there is a 360 degree lens which I've also got an order and I'm waiting for that to be delivered. So this is truly quite unique in terms of a lot of the stuff that's actually out on the market uh, it also comes with a cage and various different other things but what i'm going to do is just show you the unboxing of this camera now and then i'm going to give you a review in a couple of weeks when i've actually had a chance to play with it a little bit because the idea for this is i want to take this on my holidays let's have a look and see what's inside And there's the camera itself. So maybe not what uh, you were expecting, but this is the battery base. Um, there is a previous version of this, which was called the R. This is the RS version, so it's the latest one. Here is the uh, camera with the lens. Um, and evidently this just pulls apart like so. And there we have different aspects and you can turn this upside down so that you've got either a forward facing screen or a backward facing screen I'm just going to put that back to uh, how it was and so and then this goes on to 
Uh, that. So let's have a look. Like so. That's firmly on there. Here, it's got obviously a link to uh, the guide which goes onto your phone. It does connect to your phone as well, which is another interesting thing. And then, it's all very well packaged. We have in here our obligatory USB C. Bubbed us off, it's USB C. We have a case or a mount for it so on this mount you do the quick release and then you slide in the camera shut the trap door and uh, there you have it There is the uh, very standard sort of normal mount with this as well, the type that you get with the GoPro, etc. Um, and there is also the mount bracket adapter. Obviously, you've got your standard connector for things like your tripods and that sort of thing, but also for the selfie stick, which we'll have a look at in a moment. But yeah, so that's the that's the camera. It looks really nice, actually. Uh, so it's a 4K camera, but it can evidently shoot up to 6K um, in widescreen. There is uh, some things to actually say about this um, actual case as well. If I just pop this out for a minute. As you can maybe see here. There is a bit of sponge on there and that is because on the top of the camera there is your microphone. Um, you've got your power button and obviously your shutter uh, release button. We've got these stickers on here. Let's just take those off now. Um, so this one we can open up. And in here we have our SD card and also our USB-C. So let's um, let's just put our SD card in, push that in. So like I said, it is waterproof as well. I think it's up to about 16 meters before you need an adapter uh, cage for it. Uh, we take off the back screen and the front screen. Let's put it back into case then we'll switch it on so it's currently formatting the SD card and it's done uh, yes, we want to be in English. So now we have to install the app and connect. But as you can see there, straight away, there's the actual picture of what the camera is seeing. Obviously, it does have the distorted um, view, which these normally do. So we can um, swipe middle of the sensors to change the different modes, HDR for example, we can step that to various different things, swipe up for the media gallery, we currently know files, we can uh, tap this button to zoom, or we can uh, tap this area 
to change the presets because we can have different presets on the phone. And we can double tap uh, to exit full screen mode. There we go. So we can do 4K, 16 by 9 or 4K 4x3 megapixel pictures, 8K 16 by 9 picture as well, or 48 megapixels 4x3. So I'm going to put it on 48 megapixels 4x3. Video. So we can change the type of colour to vivid, standard, a log, which you, you can see changed there. I think I'll just keep it to vivid, to be honest, because vivid seems to be quite a nice uh, sort of light look. We can change the shutter. Uh, it's currently on automatic, but we can go to manual. Then we can change different shutter speeds and then we can go to the ISO and change this uh, EV which allows us to just make any different changes to um, our brightness level so that we can make images brighter up to four uh, or darker down to four or just keep it as balanced as we can and then we've got our white balance so there we have it that's the camera we do also we can also do the ultra wide or zoomed in uh, as well because I picked on the magnifying glass down there Six K widescreen mode. There we go. I did say that it did have uh, that mode. Loop recording, slow motion, time shifting, time lapse, back to HDR, etc., etc. So if we pull down, we've got different options as well. So we can do the screen brightness. Temporarily disable touch screen. That is uh, used if you want to go underwater with this camera, which it's perfectly capable of doing. This is waterproof as long as that trap door is shut properly. We can do standard stabilization here, which results in a longer preview as well we have um we have the infractor light on and off which basically just puts this light on on the camera so that you can actually see that it's working we can do different grids voice control screen rotation so what the screen rotation one allows us to do is turn it on and if we move the camera around like so it will keep everything still level uh, we've got quick capture and then we've got general settings so let's just go into general see lots of normal sort of stuff there Bluetooth Wi-Fi settings we can link up airpods as well screen sleep voice sd audio one thing that doesn't seem to be in here is the option for setting the time and date the other thing i said it comes with is obviously the selfie stick so if we have a look at this
there is actually a little QR code on there uh, to scan for some reason. And then this selfie stick is not your normal sort of like cheaper ones where it's the pull out and screw. This selfie stick is the official one. So this one is a, a tension mounted one. And so you just extend or pull that in and it is very, very tight. But we can then, it's obviously got the correct attachment on here. So we can screw this in and then we can use and angle this how we want to, to get our shots. But it's going to be really interesting to see what this comes out like when we start using the 360 degree camera mod, which like I said, is I'm just waiting on that one to be delivered. So hope you've enjoyed this. Um, that's the uh, video for today. So this is the Instra One RS camera. It has the ability for 40K 60fps and 48 megapixel photos. It's a totally rugged and durable action camera and it's got uh, the brand new half inch 48 megapixel image sensor and you get incredibly detailed videos and photos with the 4K boost lens. It's got the flow state stabilization which has butterly smooth shots no matter what the action is and with the Performance RS car the flow state stabilization is now built into the camera so there's no need to actually do any editing. The active HDR and 6K widescreen you can take shots to the next level with innovative modes like active HDR and 4K widescreen mode. There's interchangeable lens design this is the only action cam with interchangeable lenses designed to upgrade your camera at any time by purchasing additional lenses like the Ultra Creative 360 lens. And it's standalone, it's got a 1K4 boost lens, the One RS Core, the One RS battery base, the One RS mounting bracket, and the 120 centimeter invisible selfie stick as well as a 64 gigabyte micro SD card to get you started off with. Okay that's the first look at the camera. Hope you've enjoyed that. I will be doing more videos on this camera and showing some of the footage that I get from it including the use of the 360 degree lens which I'm really looking forward to. I've never used one of those before. Um, I do teach digital photography so this is actually going to be a bit of a new experiment for me because I've never really used action cams previously however I've heard really good things about this camera so I'm really looking forward to trying it out we'll also do some exploration of the software uh, that you can download for this as well which is available on iOS Android and PC so I believe so there's plenty of options for you to be able to download there uh, but yet yeah, we'll try this out we'll get some footage and then in a few weeks time i'll come back and say how well i thought this camera performed if you've really enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching please do give it a like also don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button down below if you've already got one of these cameras as well why don't you comment down below in terms of how you use it how you found it do you use maybe a GoPro or another make of camera and what do you recommend? Do you use an action cam at home? If so, how do you use it? What do you use it for? Do you have any great add-ons or additions to these cameras that I might want to be looking forward to? Uh, and how do you do it? Have you got any tips or anything at all like that? I'd be really interested in exploring some of these because Obviously, I want to get the best out of the camera and I want to give it a good shakedown review. So don't forget, put any of your comments down below. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.